I'm born and bred here. I'm in Black Lion, a small little village. What makes it is probably the people, the community. I'm in a small little village and it's all about uh, working together and supporting one another. It's all about the community spirit. Uh, for me as a chef, you're only as good as the produce you use. Everything comes in from about an hour to an hour and a half at the restaurant. We have a local duck producer literally in Black Lion. He's five minutes up the road and Thornhill Duck is the gentleman's uh, farm. His name is Ken Moffat. He's been supplying us for 30 years. You won't get better. You know, we have a full-time gardener here in Black Lion. We have a local butcher in Black Lion. So I can tell you on my menu, every single person that's delivering me delivers to the restaurant. It's, um, you know, food is all about trust, you know, and traceability. And I can tell you every single person that delivers here. Very important. I suppose mom and dad ran the restaurant. We closed from 73 to 89. Our house was bombed twice during the troubles. I was very young. And then we re reopened. I started taking an interest in it. We started off with maybe five bedrooms, nine bedrooms, and now we have 19 bedrooms with 55 staff. It's been an incredible success story and uh, maybe a roller coaster you could describe it as, but all good, all positive. In a wee village that has struggled, has had a tough, um, should we say, a couple of years, especially with the recession and the troubles and that, now it's picking up definitely. I love my job, I love what I do, and I'm a big believer in doing one and doing it right. You know, I've given it everything. You won't see uh, other McNeen restaurants. It's all about keeping it consistent. Yeah. And I'm only as good as the team that I have. Yeah. I have a very loyal local team working here in Black Lion, and I'm very proud of them all. I started training um, in Fermanagh College in, in Inniskillen, and then I we went to work for Paul Rankin in Roscoff. He was wonderful to me. Mm -hmm. I was, well, that was my first really insight to a Michelin star um, kitchen, and I loved it. And then yeah. I went away to work in Germany, in the Grand Hotel, and then in Luxembourg. So I always came back to Black Lion. Never did I think that I'd be on television. It, it's about cooking and loving what you do. People think I'm never in my kitchen. I'm here 90% of the time. This year I opened up my cookery school, so I'm even at home a lot more, which is great. I have two little twins that are three years of age. We live five minutes up the road, and I'm in a good space, and I'm enjoying what I have, and that's the most important thing. You know, celebrity chefs and, and, and cooking on television, it's great. You've got to think who you're cooking for. You know, I don't really cook uh, restaurant-style food. I cook food that people can make at home. Mm -hmm. Well, my style, I would call it modern Irish cooking. So I've worked in a lot of restaurants and travelled a lot, and I try and bring a lot of influences here. But as I say, all of it is local, seasonal. I, I change my menu seasonal. So one of our signature dishes as a starter is a study of shellfish. It's four different elements. All the fish comes from killie bags. So we have a ravioli of lobster, prawn and kataffi pastry and that is done with a little curry mayonnaise and chili jam uh, you have a, a, a lobster ravioli that sits in cream and leeks a seared scallop with sauce fierge and then an oyster which is poached with lemongrass coconut wilted spinach i'm making you hungry now yeah. that's just a starter <laughs> and then for the main course like beef is number one without doubt beef is the best seller we get dry aged beef we have a couple of butchers actually for beef one in black lion one in fermanagh and then we do a salt age we use a salt aged beef so we use the fillet we also use use uh, the cheek which we slowly cook and then the feather blade so it's done three different ways and that definitely is a runaway success so it's taken a uh, local produce putting lots of different in influences on them whether it's French or whether it's um, maybe Asian we have a lovely dish which we use um, a lobster ravioli with mango and apple salad and then do a lovely uh, kind of like a Thai broth with that mm -hmm. so it's quite interesting my food is changing and evolving all the time but it's all about local and seasonal